Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be attempting to make a fairy garden. So let's get started. Here we have some large rocks that I collected from the side of the river. Um, I have some other river rocks that I just had for a while. Um, I have a little fountain here, um, which my plan is to elevate it so it's a little bit higher than all the other rocks. Um, I have some fairies here which I've had. Um, my kids are older now, they don't really use them or have any interest in them so I thought I'd make use of them for the fairy garden. Um, here I have some just some plastic pot holders which I'm going to use to elevate the um, the fountain. My goal is to just recycle as many things as possible that I found around the house. Here I have some moss that I collected from the woods. Um, check out my video on uh, collecting and cleaning moss. And I have a water bottle um, to spritz the moss just in case I need it. Okay guys, so the very first thing I'm going to do um, is figure out where exactly I want it. I think about center of this area here. So more or less where it's positioned right now. I'm going to move the fountain off to the side because as I said I need to use these pot holders to elevate the fountain. Okay, so we have one, two, three. fountain is not very heavy so it should be able to sit on there properly and I think I'll position it like this. What I might do is place some moss on there but I think I'm going to just position all the rocks before I do that. Alright I think this looks this looks fairly centered so um, I'm going to try to assemble the rock so it looks like there's a stairway up to the fountain. Okay. So this one would look good here, I feel. These look good here. And let's see. Okay, maybe if I put this one on top, it will give it that good lift that I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, not sure what I'm doing with the, the little river rocks as yet. Um, so now I think, now that I have the stones more or less positioned where I want them, I'm going to place the moss. I've already cleaned them. As I said, check out my video on um, collecting and cleaning moss. And um, I think I would like to put some moss here and some there. So let's see what we can do. This is two different types of moss, so I'm not sure if this one will look better here. I'm thinking this thicker one, or the, the one that's puffier, I will put on the side here. Hopefully that will fill the space nicely. And um, let's see if I can put some more here. Will this this is in pieces, so I'll push this further back this way. And I want it sort of hanging off the side so that, that this black plastic uh, thing is, is hidden. So this piece, since it's longer, I'm going to place here maybe off to the side. So I'll just place some here. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Remember, this is just this is actually the first time I'm doing this so it's kind of an experiment for me so and just to ensure that the moss doesn't fall off because it does get windy here I'm going to place the edge under the, the fountain and I'm going to do that on the other side as well I'm just get a little bit here just, just on the tip of the edge here Okay, so that takes care of that. 
And then I have this other moss, which is a nice, I'll show it to you. It's one, almost one big piece, which is great. Um, so that one, I think I will put little pieces of random spots um, on the rocks. Okay. As I said, we have two different types of moss, so what I decided to do was take this fluffier piece and um, cover this part of the rock here, only because I don't think I have enough of the one kind. So I'm going to put a piece of this flatter one, the one that looks more like a carpet, more in front. So we're sort of blending them together. Okay. I do want to cover this part here, so I'm going to move there and cover it like that. And place the fountain. Like so. That way, that unsightly <laughs> plastic is not showing. And then move some of this forward here also. Okay, and then maybe I'll put a piece here as well. And there's a little opening here, so I'm just going to put that there. So I will place this one off to the side like that. And any excess I'll remove. Stones are really pretty, and I think I'll place some up here as well, on top of the, the fountain, to, to just keep the theme going. Okay, so, fairies. So we have the cute little fairies. I don't think I'll place all of them on there, but, um, so, we could put one. Let's see what's the best place to put her here, maybe. Um, and we have some other ones here. This one, the legs are hanging off, so cute. This one is looking up, so she could be off to the side here. We have another one here. Um, this one we could put. She's uh, has no legs. I will put this one here since she has some color. And this one we could put here. Maybe at the foot of the rock like that. Okay, I'm gonna put some river rocks here. The small river rocks, um, just as a extra decoration here. And maybe I can use some to make a little pathway, like the fairy pathway. Okay, but I think. I'll just put a few here, just to add a little bit of decoration to the rest of the, um, let's put one here, maybe, put one of the colored ones up here. Okay guys, I found this little ceramic house I had. It's really a, a little candle holder um, for tea light candles, but I thought it looked so cute um, to add to the um, design here. So I think I'm gonna place it up here because this is a, the flattest part I feel, or the widest part that it will fit. Okay guys, now that we've put a little house there, I want to create a little path to the house. 
So I'll pick a few small stones because the fairies are tiny. Um, and then start to create that. And I think I'll do it from here. So try to get a couple different uh, colors going here. Let's see what else I can find. So there's a little pathway there. And my lavender plant, um, which will be blooming soon. So for now, I think I'll just make room for that and place it here. Let's see if that'll fit. I think that'll work for now. So, so then I can put in this area with some some stones. have it guys my fairy garden thanks for watching <laughs>